Welcome back to another review. And today we're gonna to talk about how to think when you draw, and this is volume four. That's right, four, because we have this one, and I'm a big fan of this whole series. You can see here, this is volume one. We are to volume two and three, and you also have a how to think when you write with Robin. At this point, there's so many volumes that now it comes with this here, and it gives you everything that they have covered by volume, which is really cool. I like this. Definitely helpful because they have, as you can see, a lot. And a reminder, you can't buy these. These are only through Kickstarter. So if you're watching this for the first time, you get all the information here. I'll put that in the description as well, how to get a hold of these books. And before I flip through all these, if you're just joining here, hi, my name is JD and I do product reviews like these. I do animation reviews, I do rig reviews, animation lectures, animation news, hockey analysis clips, animation analysis clips, a bunch of stuff. But new, this is the YouTube pitch at the beginning. This is the channel, this is what I do, browse around. If you like it, subscribe. And if you don't, you don't have to subscribe, but it helps my channel grow. And that is that for the pitch. Let's go and check out the book. So there you go. That is the book front and back. That's how thick it is here. And as you open it up, it's empty. And it's empty again. <laughs> there you go. Title page, volume four. This is the content. As always, a ton of awesome stuff. I'm always loving the character design and monster and animal stuff. Vehicles is also great. It's also nicely cartoony. It's the way they present things. Introduction, more information here. Again, I'm gonna, as always, chapter one, go through these. So this is a 2D book. So you're gonna have, of course, more an approach of how to draw things because how to think when you draw. But in terms of shapes, and it's still interesting because it talks about different shapes, asymmetry, and how they can flow. And I think just for posing, it's super helpful for animators. I mean, head structure alone is already very, very interesting. Now, this gets, again, very specific. This will be more difficult if you have a free rig. Usually you don't have a, a rigged collar. But still, it's still, especially with gloves, that goes back to me for hand poses. You got the grouping here. Like, all of that stuff to me is really, really interesting from an animation point of view. Like, that is just gold. Different hand poses. Torn fabric, that's cool. I, I like animating effect stuff. So this could be something to think about if you do I don't know if you want to do any sim or cloth, but even if you just animate um, geometry separately. Shoulders, you got to see the range of shoulders. That's very important. Eating, which would be great for animation. But again, you can see all those really appealing facial poses. Body shapes, come on, that is definitely helpful. Love all this, especially if you have a rig that helps you in terms of modifying the rig and the controllers. Body language, that is absolutely for animation. Squash and stretch. As you know, absolutely animation. Skateboarding, <laughs> maybe less, although I saw a really cool Zelda rig uh, skate animation. Figures in the distance. A lot of times also do uh, compositional stuff, which is really, really cool. This is great for a silhouette as well. Love, why not? This is great for body contact, like all of these poses. This is all great and actually really difficult to do in animation because of contact. So again, awesome stuff. Bandages this time. Mermaids, chapter two. Ooh. We're getting into animals and monsters. Monster claws, again, look at that. Now you're going back into hand poses, great for creatures. Lizards, I don't know how many lizard rigs are out there. Monsters based on insects. That is cool, I love that. Come on, look at this here. That's very cool. Pouncing, I'm absolutely gonna use this in my creature classes. You got always page layout here with bigger poses. Trolls and goblins, zombies. Ooh, I always like zombies, that's cool. Bears, more bears, oh, come on, look at that. See, that is great, I love it. That would be so great to take this page and replicate all the facial poses on your rake just for practice. Elephants, also great. As you can see, this is a brand new book. I gotta flatten these. Chapter three, vehicles and machines. Ooh, I like this just because if you have vehicles and you can have a little bit of squash and stretch and lean in there, again, that adds just a bit of character. And I love that this book always covers that. Chrome, this goes more into shading, glass domes, paint jobs, interesting. Fishing vessels. Could you tell me where the nuclear, nuclear vessels vessel. are? No. Ooh, I don't know if I know the answer to that. I think it's across the bay, in Alameda. That's what I said. Anybody watching Star Trek? Chapter four, elements. Fire, that's cool. You can buy rigs that have these separately, but if you do something in 2D maybe, or shapes. That's great to see all the variations you can have. Muzzle flash, right there's a tab. Burned surfaces. 
That's interesting. I like this. Objects breaking or objects breaking. That's cool. Again, I am a big fan of animating stuff like this. All stuff done by hand. Objects breaking expansion pack. That's awesome. Underwater. I love underwater. Look, this is actually perfect for Luca. <laughs> Definitely a super cute movie. Gotta watch it if you haven't. Storms. Nice. Chapter five, layout and composition. I love those chapters. As I'm clumsily going through page 105 to 106. Isometric perspective. That brings me back of old isometric, isometric uh, pixel art games. Page one and two. That's cool. I like it a lot. That's cool. Even if you do kind of a set design of things, that's an inspiration. How do you could kind of tweak your set a little bit to make it a bit more organic? That's cool. I like this. Cross sections and cutaways. Asymmetry. Yeah, we always need that. I love stuff like that. That is, I'm a big fan of compositional tips like this. Cropping. That's definitely cool as you set up your scene with cameras and lenses. A punch up. That's cool. That's cool for your uh, frequent anim challenge clips where there's a lot of action in there. Multi character composition. That's again very cool. I'm going to use that for my uh, continued camera lecture. A three rectangle composition. It's awesome. Come on, this is already awesome. Pathways. That's cool. Spacing and composition. Again, fantastic. Got to use that. Magic battles. Ooh. That's cool. That's cool for your action shot again. Chapter six, natural world. I think this book is almost the best one so far. Thorns, shells, carnations, and tulips. Interesting. Pumpkins, Halloween will be coming yet again. Soil and mud. Mud is a good movie, by the way. <laughs> Bushes. Skipping a page here. Nope. Bushes, two page layout. Palm trees. More Lambus bread. <laughs> Hills Ooh, goes back into your composition, but I like that stuff. That's always great to see if you want to do a, a nicely composed shot, composed, uh, composed expansion pack for hills here. Floating mountains, that's cool. Floating mountains, two page layout, chapter seven, world building. Money and treasure. But even this here, again, we, I'm, I'm paging fast with these, but even how these are stacked. Like that to me is already more interesting than this. The super clean, unless, you know, this is part of a story, but all that stuff, if you do any type of shot with set dressing, that is going to be cool to add just little variations and contrast in how you do things. Meat and cheeses, if you have food. Rope, that's cool, like that. I think that, I don't know, that to me is really interesting how you can just do all that differently with the different knots, how they hang, how they lay now. Look at that. I don't know, that to me is great. Wall textures, wool, stone carvings. It's very specific here. I like this. And over four books, it covers a lot. Corrugated iron. Interesting. That gets really specific. Thatched roofs. Expansion pack. Look at that. These are really cute though. I like this one. Shop fronts. Shop fronts. Expansion pack. It's crazy the amount of variation they can always pack into those books. Fantasy castles, shanty towns. Ooh, a little shanty song there. And that's that. Some other books you may enjoy. That's always the end here. They have different comics and deluxe editions. Also very cool if you're looking for reference and variations and posing. Here's 1% of volume one. I absolutely recommend that whenever they bring out the Kickstarter to go back and get the previous uh, versions or volumes. Again, hand poses, composition, set dressing with contrast, animation as well. It's really cool. I really, really highly recommend these. Three 50 page comic tutorials, comic making tutorials book. And then you can have this here. Simply search. This is how you get those free ones. You got full course. They also put a ton of free pages on Twitter more to learn free tutorials there you go just search for the etherington brothers and that is that as always on kickstarter and that is that 
empty page at the end and we are done. Volume four, once again, a fantastic book. I love these so much. I love the layout, I love the drawings, the colors, everything. It's just like, it's just so, ah, it's so my book, I love these. That's the flip through through the books. Link description to the previous ones, volume three, two, and one. And I can't wait for the next one. Thank you for watching. If you like this, you wanna miss any of my reviews or all the other things on my channel, feel free to subscribe. And that is that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch until the very end. And I'll see you in my next clip.